even close to this. So these are the camera angles that we'll look at today in Mid Journey. Uh, I had a camera angle video previously that did not achieve results. And that was because I had a, a simple prompting structure back then. And as you can see, we are uh, generating a lot better images with this uh, method I'll show you in this today's video. And it all is thanks to a custom GPT I've developed. I'll uh, drop the link of the community in the description. If you join the community, you also get access to the custom GPTs. All the hard work is done by the custom GPT. You only need to tell it what you imagine. So, okay. Uh, you remember the camera angle we made uh, a file back, like maybe you know, maybe you don't know. Uh, it was a bad video. Uh, it wasn't uh, my best. We, I was comparing different image generation models with uh, different uh, camera angle prompts, like close up, wide angle, stuff like that. I was using a very limited prompting and I was like writing the prompts myself. I wasn't using any uh, AI tool to assist me in the process. So I wanted to make that video again, but this time only using Midjourney and using the custom GPT I've developed specifically for this reason. Well, not camera generation, but uh, it's mid journey prompt generation uh, reason. So this is the image I want to like take uh, as a reference point, and I want to explore what different camera angle options we have for this image. I'll copy this uh, prompt, then head over to my custom GPT, which uh, resides in our uh, community. You will find the link to join uh, down below in the description. I'll, I selected the custom GPT mid journey realism prompter. And in this conversation, I simply uh, like pasted my prompt, like here's my prompt. I want you to take my prompt and give me full prompts that put this prompt concept into all kinds of available camera angles in mid-journey realistic uh, like photography. I mentioned photography because I do not want the uh, output results to be like digital art. I want them to be realistic. Uh, I want the same subject, same concept. Like uh, I am just reiterating what I, desire, what I desire, what I have in my mind here to this custom GPT. And the custom GPT thinks about it. Uh, it has a lot of uh, resources and ways of thinking I have uploaded inside it. It gives us some instructions if you are new to Midjourney and you do not know what, what blocks I mentioned in the beginning to like Omni reference, like keeps the astronaut intact. Or you can use like lunar NASA style moon photo as the image prompt. So your uh, lunar images like moon ground is very realistic. It uh, suggests I can do that. Or like you can find like a good uh, concept art or photo as style reference, which I did. Like we are using this as style reference and it is like a concept art. And it's also mentioning like if you want some color grade, like do you want cool blue earth or like harsh white sun? Like what the colors of the image will look like it is determined by the style reference. Custom GPC instructs and educates us on this point as well. So it also tells us like you would use uh, dash dash style weights, uh, SW. And for example, it could be SW200. It also tells us like this is a prompt. You need to give a number with to work uh, of it. And, and I just uploaded the uh, style reference image here, but we do not, uh, we will not be using uh, SW for this. And like it will use the just default uh, style defeat. And it also tells us like you can also run this full prompts without a reference. Like uh, if you are uh, happy with the default uh, mid journey look, oh, it's fine to use the no reference for this uh, exercise. Then it gives us the text test prompt. Uh, text text prompt. Uh, there are seven different camera angles. First, it starts with a low angle wide uh, shot from the ground. This is the worm's eye view that we couldn't get working in the previous video. Then there is an over the shoulder close shot uh, like visual reflection. Then there is a macro on puppies like astronaut blurred in the background. And there is a high angle bird's eye view from above. Uh, but what basically this uh, custom GPT does is uh, it takes a look at the prompt and it rewrites the prompt in the camera angle uh, we desire, but it doesn't just sprinkle in some camera angle information. It instead like uh, look at the prompt and look at the environment, look at the world, look at the subjects and reimagines the scene from that camera angle, uh, which is why the results are this great uh, when you put them in mid journey. Uh, while Image Journey is a great image generation model to create these uh, realistic uh, looking images, it can't mind read and it doesn't really go above and beyond when it comes to taking a simple prompt and making it uh, unique. Uh, you have to like reimagine and put great uh, prompts into it to get uh, really uh, good results with it. So let's just generate them. Huh? Uh, the prompts are already here. I will just uh, copy this. Then uh, go ahead again here, paste it here and just look over if there anything is wrong. Uh, so I have my personalization on. I could close this up and like not allow any personalization into it and I think I will do that I'm, my personalizations are like great for uh, making it look realistic but it won't be replicatable by you so I won't use my personalization for this uh, the, this image already has a personalization profile inside uh, which is the creator uh, personalization probably and like this uh, image on its own should be enough stylization to carry the uh, results into a good one then I'll head over and copy the over the shoulder uh, prompt and let's see how this one will look. Uh, just paste that in. Uh, let's look over like style row uh, AR23. 
so there are no prompts so there there are some no prompts uh, let's just submit that as well oh did i just submit it without i submitted without its style reference i i just uh, put it again and resubmitting then let's take the third one macro on poppies this time remembering to put style references then take the high angles bird eye view and put the style reference run it again Distant telephoto, style reference, run it again. Helmet cam POV looking down on the poppies. That's look that sounds like a good one. Put the style reference, run it again. Eye level medium shot, a documentary style, interesting. Uh, put the style reference in, then submit again. And I'll get back to you when the generations are complete. So let's start looking at the images. Uh, first one is supposed to be a low angle wide shot from grind, worm's eye view. Okay, so. This is a like low from the ground looking up. It's a worm's eye view. Okay, I'm seeing that, and like the results are actually great. Uh, looking at this image to remember, yeah, okay, okay. I I, I kind of like this one. Yeah, the second one was uh, over the shoulder close shot, uh, visor reflection emphasis, uh, close up photography just behind the astronaut's shoulder, over the shoulder view, focusing on the mirrored orange ones like. How am I looking over the shoulder and seeing the visor at the same time? I'm not really sure. Uh, so this was the one we did without uh, referencing the style. So these are uh, like original mid-journey styles. Uh, the image does not have an effect on these. And this is the one we ran back. Uh, it has the mid-journey style, but yeah, that, that makes no sense. Like this is uh, like this is not uh, an image, and that's no. Yeah, still no. Okay, maybe this is high grass <laughs> in this example, and like the astronaut is moving through it, but I'm not really seeing it. I'm, I'm not really happy with this camera angle. Third one is macro on poppies, uh, astronaut blurred in the background. Let's see if it achieved that one. Okay, so we are uh, macro on the poppies. Uh, yeah, is the astronaut blurred? Maybe, mm, maybe. Yeah, this one's a bit better. Um, not really blurred, but the background, he is in the background and we are on the macro of puppies. And this is like, wow, the, the, the moon uh, puppies are just huge. Fourth one is high angle bird's eye view for, uh, from above. So let's look at that. Uh, is this high angle from bird's eye view? No, 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 and no again. I don't really like this. Distant telephoto pro profile with huge earth. Uh, tele Photo photograph from a distance on the moon, uh, side profile of the astronaut. Let's see that. Okay. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is the money shot. Like, this is the money shot you get. Honestly, like, maybe even this one. Like, he is very lonely, and I, I kind of like this one. Or maybe even this. Yeah. This is one. This one's good, right? Yeah. Next one is helmet cam POV looking down at poppies. So we should be in the helmet uh, looking down. Okay, that's not it. Okay, th yeah, this is it. Like we are uh, POV of the man. If he was very short, I guess. Yeah, this is more like it, maybe. I kind of like this one too, but uh, we are just too close to the ground, I think. Eye level medium shot, documentary style. Let's see what documentary style is. And it's, I think, the original image. Yeah, this is. This is really looking like it, yeah. Okay, so there was uh, some uh, bad examples, especially this uh, over-the-shoulder one, uh, which was which was a, a bit confusing, but like, uh, how can you be over-the-shoulder while emphasizing the visor? Uh, you have to be, like, in like in an angled way, like, uh, 45 degrees, maybe. Uh, but otherwise, like, in general, like, these macro on the poppies and astronaut in the background, like, these ones are cool. And, uh, like, this one, uh, th these are especially great. I even like this one, like, the, this reminds me of the, like, uh, you're, maybe you could remember the lone soldier dying uh, under the tree kind of memes that was popular. Okay, I just did a quick uh, research inside Mid Journey, like, this is uh, replacing Google images for me, I guess. And I was, the, like, I mentioned this kind of look. Uh, you might have seen some images that uh, are similar to this, they were popular a while back. 
And this, these ones like just remind me that, but from the uh, soldier's point of view, in this case, astronauts. And I kind of like the results. Uh, this is a custom GPT, so if you do not like any of the results, you can just go back and forth with it uh, to make sure that every result makes sense. Uh, we liked some of the outputs and we didn't like some of them, some of the other ones, and I didn't uh, even give an image in this example. So uh, what I would do is uh, I would download this image, give it the image, then uh, ask it to change what uh, the, the ones I didn't like. And overall, I kind of feel like we covered mid-journey camera angles again, and this time in a much better way. So this was the uh, mid-journey camera angles, uh, and uh, a little introduction to the custom GPT I have made available in the community. If you are a member of the community, go ahead and check this out, because uh, like I think uh, some of you may have missed this uh, update. If you are not a community member already, like just uh, join it from the description, you will not need any other uh, subscription to this. Uh, like you, you won't need to check GPT+, but this does run uh, with ChatGPT 5.1, like the latest version. So the results are pretty good. And it obeys the rules and references I have given it with Midjourney in mind. Uh, the, this will allow you to create a lot of better images without like having to struggle and learn all of the prompting tips and tricks. And like I will link, leave the link down in the description to join. And see you in the next video.